Hey everyone, I have another tutorial for you today in Illustrator. My name is Erin and I like to design almost everything that I do for my clients um, I use Illustrator for. And today is no exception. I am going to show you how to color in your line art drawings with um, watercolor or the effect of watercolor. Um, and there's different ways that you can do this. I just really prefer this technique. Um, so let's get started. I have this black and white line art drawing and you can tell it's line art because when I do a command Y to show the outline, it's all vectorized. So you wanna start with that. I do have a tutorial that shows you walks you through how to turn your um, hand drawings into line art um, and I will put a link for that below as well but um, we're gonna start today with our line art already created so um, I have I want to make sure that my line art is on its own layer so that's on layer two and I'm gonna drag that to the bottom so that it's um, well no I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave that on the top. Whoops. I'm gonna leave my line art on the top and put my watercolor painting underneath so that the black outline stays on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock my line art layer down so that I don't happen to catch it by mistake when I'm trying to select something. So just hit next to it and lock it. And then what I want you to do is draw with your line segment tool. I want you just to draw a line. And then we are going to go to Window and down to Brush Libraries and then the pop-out menu to Artistic and then down to Watercolor. So this library gives you a whole bunch of different watercolor brushes and once you have your line drawn you can select which brush you want to use so just pick one you know play around with it see what you like what you don't like um, and just for the sake of this tutorial let's zoom in a little bit on that so you can see there's different shades and when you have your line selected you can also go to your color palette and you can oh, change the color just make sure that you have your stroke selected when you're changing the color and then you can make it let's start with blue because we're probably gonna do the clouds and then you can from there move that down to your cloud and then if you want to do them all as separate lines you can do that and let's let's do a different there, there's a different brush that's cool and you can adjust the the shape of these strokes by um, if you go to your stroke palette you can play around with the width see how that made it a lot wider I feel like I need a darker blue though just for this brush okay so I darkened it up a little bit another fun trick that you can do is right in about the middle of your tool palette on the left if you click and hold down, you'll see this pop up. There's a whole bunch of different tools, fun little tools in here. I'm specifically gonna use the warp tool. And I'm gonna put my crosshairs on my stroke, right in the middle, just to start with. And then I'm gonna pull it down and it's gonna warp that line. And now I'm gonna pull one of the others up, one of the others down. I might even bring this one in. So you can change the shape of your stroke that way. Or, it's pretty cool, I'm gonna slide over and do another cloud. If you wanna use your pen tool and start clicking around, then you can make whatever kind of stroke line that you want. But remember, right now it's just a solid stroke because we haven't selected a watercolor yet. So we're gonna hit watercolor, there we go. I'm going to make this a different shade of blue in my color palette. Cool. Like it already. And then I'm going to go back to my pen tool. And I'm just going to start 
keep adding to this because I like the swirly effect. And maybe just outline this cloud. And let's maybe just add a little bit more in here. I'm just going to do a straight line. I'm going to pick another brush. I like that. I'm going to grab the end of my line because I want to make it just a little bit longer to kind of fill in that space. I might even warp it just a little bit. Cool. Okay, let's try the trees. I mean, you really can do a whole bunch of different stuff. This really will let your creativity fly. So I'm going to make, let's see, I'm going to make kind of a circle for this one. Just like a little swooshy line and connect it there. I'm going to pick a brush and let's do another color. Ooh, I like that. And now I'm going to use my paintbrush tool. So I can just kind of freehand it. Ooh, see, that's so neat. Okay, one thing I'm going to try here, give you a tip. When you do a stroke, sometimes you get some hard, pointy edges. Like, I see one right there, and I think I can fix it. If you have your stroke that has a pointy edge selected, and go to your stroke palette, if you select this middle round cap and the bottom corner, it should um, smooth any sharp corners that you have. So, looks good. So, play around with this, have some fun. I wanna see some original creations. And after this, I am going to show you how to do this exact same thing, but in Photoshop. So, very similar it just I know a lot of you use Photoshop I know a lot of you use Illustrator so I want to make sure that you know how to do it on both platforms so until then have a great day